The main value of the Valdez Peninsula is, however, not to be found inland, but along the coast, where life is much more profuse. The sea that bathes these coasts teems with life and provides food for the colonies of sea lions, elephant seals and penguins that live here. Over 100 species of austral birds nest along the coast and come to the beach in search of food. Some of them, such as the seagulls, have seen their numbers rise in recent years as a result of the growth of local waste dumps, which have become another source of food for these voracious birds. Alongside them live the South American sea lions, also called sea wolves, or fur seals due to the clump of fur around the head of the males. The total population on the Valdez Peninsula is estimated to be around 20,000, the majority of them females who each year give birth to hundreds of pups on these beaches. The conditions are so favorable for them that their numbers rise a little each year. The waters around the peninsula must have sufficient reserves of food to sustain these growing colonies of mammals and seabirds. Part of these reserves is revealed at low tide. The beaches are then covered with a multicolored blanket of vegetable, animal and mineral remains washed ashore by the currents. Most of it is seaweed, but there are also mollusks cast onto land by the sea. The local birds are quick to take advantage of this gift. The protective shells of the bivalves are no obstacle. The seagulls have discovered an infallible method of getting through them. When they find one, they take it in their beaks and fly up with it. The seagull soars up and when it thinks it is high enough, drops its precious load. After one or more attempts, the shell will crash against a rock and break apart, and dinner is served. Just a few meters away, the sea lions doze on the sand. In the water, they are extremely active, but on land, they become lazy. Their clumsiness out of water and the pleasant warmth of the sun are more than reason enough to take life easy, and the colonies gather to slumber on the beach for hours at a time. The sea lions remain along these coasts all year round. During the breeding season, the colonies gather at two places, one at either extreme of the peninsula, Punta Pirámides in the south and Punta Norte in the north. The pups also enjoy the afternoon sun. They are still very small and don't have the layer of fat necessary to survive in the freezing cold waters of the Atlantic. For the time being, their life is more terrestrial than marine, though not for long. The beaches of Punta Norte are also a meeting point for another member of the seal family, the elephant seal. The elephant seals are the largest members of the seal family in the world. 
The females can weigh up to 500 kilos, but even they are lightweights compared to the male. This male is almost 5 meters long and weighs around 2,500 kilos, almost 10 times as much as a sea lion. The Valdez Peninsula is the only continental region where elephant seals have established a breeding colony. The clumsiness of both the sea lions and the elephant seals on land contrasts with their incredible agility in the water. Their legs have evolved into flippers and have conserved almost nothing of their former function. Only the claws at their ends remind us that once they were used to run across the ground. The layer of fat that surrounds them and their ability to restrict blood circulation at the periphery of their bodies enable them to remain in the cold waters of the peninsula for hours on end. There they play, hunt, and may even sleep. <laughs> 